How, how did today go for you? Uh, no, it was a, it was a good workout. It was intense. Uh, we went, we compete. We went against, we went each other. It, it was a good workout. You know, it was just some some three on three, some three on three full court. You know, we we did we did some some plays and some some different stuff. So it was, it was good. And what are you trying to show teams during this process about yourself as you try to make a case for them to draft you? Uh, you know, just going and working out, just, you know, with my energy, uh, just play hard every every possession or uh, intensity. Uh, you know, the rest is going to take you, I would say, you know, they already know what I can do. Uh, teams already know what I can do, you know. Uh, they know my strengths. They know what, what I'm working on. You know, just to go to every work and just show, up, show what I just mentioned, you know, just my intensity and just go hard every time. Ava. Hey, Charles, hope you're doing well. Um, I understand. So you, you've kind of been through part of the NBA draft process before back in 2019. Is that right? Yeah. What do you feel like you learned, obviously, in addition to the feedback that teams gave you? But do you feel like it was a little bit easier going through some of the stuff this time around? Or what did you learn from that process uh, the first time? Yeah, of course, it's a little bit easier, you know, uh, coming back, you know, I knew, I knew what to expect, even in the combine and Coming, going to workouts, you know, I knew what teams want, you know, like I said, man, just my intensity and stuff like that. Like teams know I do what I can do. And yeah, so this, this was, you know, just going every workout, you know, you just gotta, I mean, you're gonna have good, good workouts, bad workout, you don't know. I mean, just going there with just great energy and just, you know, just play together as a, as a team and just talk and communication, just everything, just, it's been, it's been good for me, so. And I, I know you also had a pretty gnarly injury that you were rehabbing a little bit during the pandemic when everything was locked down. Is that right? Yeah. What was that process like? What did you kind of, I guess, learn about yourself and having to do a lot of that rehab, I assume, on your own or with with really limited equipment and things like that? Uh, I mean, it wasn't limited. You know, I did my uh, I did my rehab with my trainer in school. I was already I was already got allowed in, in in the gym with my my trainer, my strength my strength coach. So you know we went, we went pretty. They went at me the whole the whole summer when my teammates went home. So I felt like that pandemic, you know, really helped me a lot because my my trainers and my my strength coach focused on just me. You know, the whole I think sixteen weeks, sixteen weeks. So it was just me, just trying to make my my knees stronger, and that helped. You know, I just felt like the pandemic was a, even though it was it was not good for the world, but it was kind of a blessing to me because I they got really focused on me and me alone during that during that uh, period of time. So it was it was good. Fred. Hey, Charles, welcome. Um, I, I'm, how uh, how did the Wizards uh, pre-draft workout process, whether it's workout, interview, how, how does it compare to other teams? Did anything they do and specifically, did anything stand out? Oh, really, it's been, you know, like I said, man, every, every workout has been different. You know, today we, uh, the last workout I did, we went three on three, just different stuff. You know, today we did the same thing, but just different uh, rotations, different plays, different possessions. And, you know, most of the stuff, I mean, most of the stuff teams do is just, they want to see how we compete. You know, they want to see how we go against each other and just competition. And they want to see our high level of intensity, our energy and just stuff like that. So, you know, of course, workouts is going to be different and stuff. But so it's going to be just one goal, just to see how players react when they get frustrated, or just how they react and just play hard and just see when things are not going their way, how they come back from me. So yeah, speak, yeah. speaking of the competition, when when you're going up against another guy in a workout, obviously they want to see you're competitive. But at the same time, like you know you're you're in a job interview. How how do you handle your emotions in those situations when you know they want to see you be competitive, but you also know that maybe you don't maybe in a certain situation you don't want to say something you might otherwise say on the court. Uh I mean you just have to just control it control the way you can, you know, some, I mean, I just do it, just, just play hard, man. Like, you know, you might make mistakes, like who cares? I mean, you make people make mistakes and you might fumble the ball so many times. I mean, sometimes teams, teams want to see how you come back from that. I mean, yeah, you're going to, I mean, it's a game, you're going to make mistakes and stuff. I mean, they want to see, okay, what are you going to do the next play? You're going to get an offensive rebound, you're going to block a shot. They want to see how you come back from that. I mean, like I said, man, you just go out there and just the way you can do and showcase the team what you got. case yeah wizards are um you know they're looking for a head coach right now did you notice just what, what was it like i guess working out for a team that they don't really have a, a, a full coaching staff at the moment uh i mean 
there's nothing wrong with working out with a team that don't have it. I mean, like I said, man, like, you know, the team know what they want. They know what they want to drive. Uh, they know which position they want to drive. So we players don't know. I mean, so like I said, man, we'll just go out there and just do what we can so we can get drafted, man. Like, just go out there and just play. Just play and just do what they want to see. Uh, I mean, and I, I they're going to pick a coach soon. So any coach that comes in, of course, the, the coach is going to talk to the player that got drafted and see what they'll do. But like I said, man, it's just... It's just, it's just good. It's good. Quentin. Hey Charles, what do you think the hardest, what would you say the hardest part of today's workout was for you? Anything like especially challenging? You mentioned it was intense. Uh, you know, uh, I'll say, you know, you just, sometimes you don't want to miss, uh, you don't know when, when we do some, when we're doing the, 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 the shot making, you know, you don't miss a couple of shots in the, in the row, like two or three shots, you know, I just feel like, or just a challenging, you know, just get back, focus, and make shots. And yeah, because they would do a lot of uh, shooting and they want to see how, you know, big, how, how we big and make shots and stuff like that, or how you miss shots and then don't get frustrated and keep shooting it, you know. I just thought like that was really challenging, but I felt, you know, I shot a better day and it was good. And what do you think separates you from your counterparts in this draft? Like, what do you bring to a team that you don't think anybody else will get, other teams won't get for other prospects? Uh, you know, my defense, of course, you know, I don't know if you guys have watched me my, in college, of course, my defense separates me from sure. other guys, you know, uh, uh, my, my, my intensity, the way I go and get rebounds, you know, my, my, my shot blocking out, I switch on players and, and stuff like that. When the, today I didn't work out, I switch on guys and yeah, those stuff, man, you, you know, you can teach, you know, I, I, my, my rim running, I run the floor and yeah, you can teach, you can teach time. And so that's what, you know, that's what separates me from other guys. I just wanted to know how you thought your workout went today with the Wizards. Uh, I feel like the workout went well. Um, shot the ball well, competed, and we had a lot of fun. And what would you say the most challenging part of it was for you? Um, I want to say there was real um, challenges that came with it. I mean, it's just basketball. We went out there, we had fun, we competed. Um, I could say the uh, most difficult part was probably that uh, 20, 20 touches at the end of the workout. Appreciate you. Chase. Hey, Isaiah, I know we uh, talked to you at the Combine and you said that uh, you had already talked with the Wizards and, and you had a workout scheduled. So how, I guess, did this second meeting with them go and, and what did you try to show them this time that you weren't able to maybe last time? Um, things went well. Um, I think they just wanted to see me in a, you know, a closer setting, uh, see how I competed and see how I was, you know, with the staff and um, here you know, in the facility. Ava, I'm just wondering because your um your G League season ended such a long time ago. What were you focused on in kind of the months and weeks in between in, in training? Uh, mainly just staying in shape, um, shot mechanics, um, things of that nature, strengthening my strengths. Uh, really just you know focusing on what we want to show uh, these teams and you know coming out here and showcasing that. And I guess as kind of that inaugural class this year, I wonder how much time you've had to reflect over that. It's obviously been a while, but that must have been a really cool thing for you to have gone and, and been a part of. And I know the bubble was obviously such a unique experience, but um, I guess, could you speak a little bit to just being that first group of guys that really kind of got that team off the ground? Man, I mean, I feel like, you know, it's a great thing. Uh, I feel great about being, you know, part of that first group and actually making some type of change. Um, you know, I take pride in the NCAA uh, changing that rule where uh, guys can make money off their name and likeness. Uh, I feel like, you know, Team Ignite may have had something to do with that. How did the workout go for you? It was really good. It was very good. What was the toughest part? I've been asking everybody, you know, a couple of players said the 20s, the 20 touches at the end was tough. Anything else kind of stick out to you as difficult? Uh, I'll just say just up and down all the time, just getting used to that NBA speed. Um, I feel like that's going to be the biggest thing for, for me, just getting used to that NBA speed. And what do you think is like the biggest thing that you can bring to a franchise that drafts you? Um, energy, that's a big thing. Um, defense, run the floor. Um, and then last but not least, a bunch of highlights. Um, I'm a high flyer. I can jump out the gym, so a bunch of those. Appreciate you. Good luck, brother. Thank you. Chase. Hey man, I understand you come from a family of a lot of decorated athletes, a, a lot of football players. Um, mm -hmm. 
How did your basketball journey go? Uh, as I'm sure you you weighed maybe playing other sports too. Um, my basketball journey it was kind of a rough one, a lot of adverse situations. But I grew up playing a multiple amount of sports. Um, I did play football for one year. Um, I was a big track runner, and did play a little soccer, but it was just for the footwork. So yeah, just playing a multiple amount of sports, and then uh. Yeah, that's about it. And what was the workout today like, uh, you know, just for us, for those of us who weren't there, because we all know the Wizards are like in the middle of trying to find their next head coach. What was, uh, I guess, how did it compare to other teams, uh, given that? Um, it was a lot of up and down. Uh, we did a lot of up and down, a lot of running, three on three, full court, uh, one on one, full court. So we basically just got up and down the floor a lot. Fred. Hey, Greg, uh, just just building off of that, who who are you working with in those workouts? What what coaches did you go through? If you caught anybody's name, that kind of stuff. Um, to be honest, I'm not good with names. So it was a multitude of coaches, a lot of coaches. And we we're just working on everything. He's working on learning the reads, learning the um, defensive coverages. I'm um, just learning the terminology I use here. And and how how difficult is that from a terminology standpoint? How when you when you're bouncing around different workout, different team all the time, every team, you know, for the same coverage, they might have four different words they use for it, right? Four different terms. So how difficult is that learning that terminology one day and then erasing it from your mind for the next day's workout? Yeah. I mean, for me, I'm a kid that likes to learn. I'm a sponge and I kind of take the principles that they teach us and try to find the common denominator of it. So like if it's a drop coverage, like in a pick and roll, the um, big man just drops out of it. I just kind of keep that in the back of my mind. So if another team has another terminology of it, I can just say, oh, they call this a drop, et cetera, et cetera. So, nice. yeah. Greg. Thank you. Neil. Hey, Greg, hope you're doing well. Tommy Shepard, the Withers GM, has told us, you know, in previous draft workouts that they kind of assess not just the workout itself, but, you know, who picks you up from the airport, how you, you know, hold yourself accountable, you know, in the whole process while you're in D.C. Did you notice anything about that or is there anything where you try and, you know, OK, this entire thing is a job interview, not just the workout part? I mean, I kind of figured that they would do that kind of like judge everything because they're investing millions of dollars if you into you so one thing I try to do is just be myself because I know I'm a great kid I was raised right and and I stay out of harm's way so just be myself and just be more vocal and everything will be fine